Hi, hello there. I've um, just got home well, about an hour ago, I suppose. I've been to Brogdale today, the um, home of the National Fruit Collection. Apples and pears and, uh, and several other fruits, but it's the apples that are the main attraction. They have 2,300 different varieties of apples, and they're grown in a very organised orchard. Two versions of each fruit, so two trees in rows. So every two, every second tree, or every third tree is a new type of apple. Absolutely fantastic and they're all kept in a state where it's easy to pick and to prune and they're looked after. We weren't allowed anywhere near those but we saw the orchard but we were there for a pruning day and when the apples we were allowed to prune were um, a collection of trees outside of the National Fruit Collection on another piece of land further away and um, these are pruned and it was our turn today to have a little go at pruning them and it was great fun. Well that was late in the afternoon. We started our day at 10 o'clock with um, discussions of odds and spurs and different types of pruning and how trees grow and all this sort of thing. And we did actually go out for an orchard walk in the morning, but um, the rain drove us indoors again. And then we were indoors, but all afternoon we were outside and we just had a short question session afterwards. Because of course everybody had their own trees to talk about and pictures and photographs and um, what have you. It was great fun. And we had um, we all had lunch together in the restaurant. They um, provided us with lunch and um, we all sat and chatted and it was the most enormous fun, really very informative, terribly interesting, and I loved every minute of it. They've got another day um, of winter pruning next March, so I'll have to see. I may go. It would be rather fun. So, so I went up to London on Thursday afternoon and um, stayed with my family, and which was very nice. And this morning I got up at about half past six, a bit later than I meant. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It, I thought it one might take up to um, two and a half, even three hours to get down to Faversham, which is where Brogdale is. But it didn't, in fact. Um, I left about seven, and it, I could have been there just after nine, but in fact I didn't get there till about half past nine in the end, uh, because of rain and because of traffic. The traffic flowed very quickly, so in fact that was very good, but, well, I suppose I was just being a bit cautious. Uh, so I got there, parked and fiddled around a bit, and then I went in and had some coffee. And then suddenly we were all having coffee in the, in the theatre where we were going to um, have our pruning session. And it was great fun. There were, I think there were nine of us, yes, there were, there were nine of us all together and our tutor. And um, everybody was as keen as mustard. And we've all come from different aspects of tree growing. I mean, we all had trees that we knew and loved or owned or just looked after. Uh, one couple even had just acquired an old orchard, which I was actually green with envy about. I mean, that would be really lovely. And they've got hundred year old trees to, to look after and, and hopefully, well, their plan is to bring it back into production. So I wish them the very best of luck I was up in Cambridgeshire. So really very interesting, really fruitful day of discussion. Uh, so then I, yes, yeah, so it was in Brogdale, which is at Faversham, Kent, so it was quite a long way away and I drove back, left about 4.30 and I got home in the end about 9 because I had to stop and have some food. My eyes were getting fixated on a spot somewhere ahead of me and <laughs> you just get tired after a while. So I stopped at um, Cobham in Surrey, one of the service station there, and um, I had my favourite travelling food, McDonald's. I had one of their chicken and griddled chicken and bacon salad, and then I had a little container of their gluten-free potato wedges and dip and a latte. And I sat there for about three quarters of an hour and <sighs> recovered. Uh, then I got back into the car and, um, yeah, so that was about seven, 
Did I say it was seven o'clock? Yeah, so, so I stopped for about three quarters of an hour, so I started again about seven. Got up meant it almost another two hours to come home. I mean, it is quite a way, it's, uh, which is why I was able to stay in London overnight and then go down it in this morning. It's a much shorter journey. So I was quite tired when I got home, but certainly stopping was good. So I've had quite a good day of gluten-free food, nothing too bad. And I didn't have any of their gorgeous coffee, um, carrot cake at Brogdale, and neither did I try any of their new Brogdale plum fruit plum fruit ice cream, which apparently is gorgeous, so that was pretty good. And I didn't spend too much money, so that was good. So yes, it was a wonderful day. I do love going to Brogdale. I'm going to become a friend of Brogdale's fairly soon. Very interesting place. And it was very good. Lots of information. So that's it. So I'm going to... Um, I was trying to type up my notes, but my computer's decided I'm probably too excited about the day so it's not playing ball with me it's actually really very difficult so I'm going to, well I have already turned it off and I'm going to go and take a bed a book to bed <laughs> and not a bed to book a book to bed I'm reading Lady Chatterley's Lover for my book club meeting on Monday and it's my book choice so I really have to find out some reviews about it and some background to it or whatever I can find out about it and then be ready to discuss it on Monday so I think my work's going to be rather cut out and tomorrow also I want to cook some apples yes I've got this wonderful big bag of apples from a girlfriend and I put them all out in the kitchen before I left yesterday so they've been aired so the kitchen just smells like a, an orchard so anyway I must make those tomorrow I'm going to make those into a chutney and I think the horseradish that I ordered has arrived but of course, um, but of course, um, he also went off on Thursday, which I didn't expect. He went to Wales, so nobody was here to take him my horseradish fruit. So I think it's at the post office. So I'll have to go and pick that up tomorrow. Uh, so I must get on with that. So I think my weekend's going to be quite busy. So I thought I'd have a little chat to you now, and I'll put this on board tomorrow. So that's it. Well, I hope you've all had a good day. It's the weekend tomorrow, so that's absolutely glorious. And let's hope it's. You know, as nice as weather as it possibly can be. It's not long till Christmas now, so I really must start getting on with things. But it's very exciting, isn't it? I do love Christmas. So we'll see. OK, well, look, good night. I will chat to you again another time, and um, we'll see you soon. OK, goodbye.